Already with a healthy advantage as the V8 Supercars Series headed to the Gold Coast, Jamie Wincup had taken a huge stride towards retaining his title with victory on a chaotic Saturday afternoon, backed up nicely by earning pole the next morning in qualifying. With co-driver Sebastian Bourdais taking the reins at the front of the grid, that was the safest place to be after what had transpired 24 hours earlier. And for a few chilling seconds, it seemed like there could be a nasty repetition. Nervous oh, times! And no! Cox! Peter Cox has oh. stopped! Oh! Thankfully, we've avoided mayhem, at least off the start. Bourdais will charge them down to turn one. Mark Leaves going to slot in on the inside of Will Power and take the advantage through and get the spot. Cox and Moffat were gone. And while a restart wasn't necessary this time, it wasn't long before more drama unfolded. Nick Heidfeld played a bit of spin the bottle oh, although this version wasn't much fun. Meanwhile, Richard Lyons found himself in a sticky situation. Oh, now he's locked the wheel. He's going to hit him. A couple of international drivers clashed when Mika Salo clipped Gianni Morbidelli. And another of the Europeans came a cropper when Stefan Sarazen met the wall at turn 11, although it could have been much worse. So watch Hitchcock, look at that. Oh, good save. Well done. Well done. Michael Caruso was cool, calm and collected as he waited for his turn to take control only to soon go from cruising to cursing as car number 34 left pit lane without a very important piece of rubber. Mark Winterbottom was caught up in that messy exit, adding to what had already been a frustrating weekend for him. And while so many others were having problems, Bourdais carried on, doing a mighty job as Wing Cup's 2IC before letting the boss try to bring it home. Thanks, mate. Okay, cool. Cup in. Their stablemate Craig Lowndes battled on with a dodgy clutch as Wind Cup warmed up for a gunfight at the front. It seemed only a matter of time before late pace setter Tim Slade would be overtaken. Down the inside goes Will Davison. Good move. Good move. Little bump at the end there. There's a little bit of contact. And then sitting in third with just over 20 laps left, Wind Cup gave it a nudge. Down the inside. Very late. Turn three. Locked together. These things are absolutely locked together. Coming off three. And Wind Cup's up the inside. Slade will argue. This is a game of chicken at 250 kilometres an hour. On the run into the chicane. Who breaks first? It's Slade. Just as the Davis and Wind Cup duel was getting fierce, debris on the track forced the safety car's return, bringing the outcome down to a 10-lap sprint where the FPR pilot got the jump. Davison pulls away. Wind Cup really unsettled on the approach into turns one, two and three. With Winterbottom also right on his hammer, Australia's premier driver hurled his Holden at Davison, only to encounter what must have felt like a brick wall on wheels. And Will Davison for the first time in so many months. <laughs> fights back to claim victory. With Mika Sala. It was a very satisfying act of redemption for Davison, who had put his machine into a tyre wall the day before. What a way to bounce back. Uh, just to thank Mika for his great job yesterday and today and all the boys who work late. Uh, I've got to learn how to string two days together, but after the last couple of months, we've had so much speed uh, and nothing to show. So uh, this is a sweet victory. So uh, it's great to share with this man. He's a legend and all my boys are the best. For Ford Performance Racing, it turned out to be a podium sandwich as they grabbed first and third with Win Cup and Bourdais in the middle. Even though Team Vodafone's 11 race winning streak had ended, they are still in the box seat to walk away at season's end with the ultimate prize. David Rowlands, Big Pond Sport.